is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another ranking style video for you guys as you guys can see today we're doing ringside exclusives i've been teasing this video for a little bit now i think i've compiled every ringside exclusive wwe elite figure we're not getting into the storm collectibles figures we're not getting into any of the aew you know unrivaled figures you'd like the chris jericho the the AEW Blood Brothers pack, the Kenny Omega with the ring. We're getting into the WWE Elite figures only, and I think I got all of them. I'm not going to include like the the Chris Jericho. Uh, you just made the list. I'm not going to include the Samoa Joe. I'm not going to include the Red Rooster or any of those figures. I think I have Tyler Bate in here, but I figured you know we could throw him in there. But today, guys, we're going to be ranking every ringside exclusive elite figure from worst to best or in this popular you guys know the the different sections here so let's dive in here you, you, you got the go buy it section which is top tier it's the best of the best it's go buy it definitely go check it out it's worth putting in your collection today if it's in the go buy it section man you know you may spend a lot of money today if you're just going to go buy it whenever i tell you to here on the ring set exclusive ranking right here we have good figure that's you know pretty solid football figure really good job on this figure not completely go buy it but it's really solid stand alone meh is is meh it's just like yeah it's not garbage but it's definitely not the best it's like it could definitely be better and then we have barely acceptable which is like one thing keeping it out of the garbage which brings us to the last one which would be garbage which is get in the garbage you are god awful so here today guys i think we got a pretty good list i think there's 33 or something like that which is absolutely bonkers but let's just shut the hell up and dive into our ranking here guys starting out first with the ringside exclusive three in one edge figure which is uh i don't like the way that's really you know dragging around there i think i fixed it but anyways i'm putting this in meh you know this one's just meh it, it's very it's a plain jane attire you do get the three in one exclusive with the kurt hawkins and the zack Ryder head sculpts but for me it's it it's pretty much a re-release of the elite one besides the the two interchangeable head sculpts that we get and it's just not my favorite it's just a really plain jane it's meh it's not the greatest it's just it's eh it's borderline barely acceptable but i'm gonna go meh because i like edge i like his figure so i'm gonna go meh next up guys we do have walter now walter for me is gonna be go buy it it's probably the newest ringside exclusive on this list if i'm not mistaken and i think that it's definitely a go buy it figure it's really really strong really good figure i highly recommend the walter figure so i'm gonna put that and go buy it right there next up is the undertaker as kane really nice two-in-one figure right here you can put it in your undertaker shelf you can put it in your kane shelf i honestly want to put it in good figure because you got the dual sleeve kane elite which we've never seen before till this you you can put it on your Undertaker or your Kane shelf. I'm going to put it on good figure. I think that, uh, you know, it's it's not a perfect go buy it. I don't think it's really, really good. But I'm going to put it in good figure for now. It could change, but let's just go ahead and start there, guys. Uh, going up next has got to be... You guys know where this shit's going. It's going right in the garbage. That's the worst ringside exclusive of all time right here. This, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's not, it, it's just gone. It's garbage. You know what? It's not even on the list. I'm just kidding, but it's in the garbage. Next up, guys, is Brian Kendrick. This is go buy it. This is go buy it. Really cheap right now. It's actually on the Black Friday 2.0 sale. Go use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. You can probably get this figure for like $10 right now, guys. I'd buy five of them. Go buy five. This this thing right here is great for customs. Really great and unique figure. Nobody saw this thing coming. It's really nice. It can go in your Cruiserweight collection. Just a really nice, really good figure. That Brian Kendrick is very nice, man. It is very damn nice. I'm putting it in go buy it. Next up is King of the Ring Brett. This one... Ooh, I don't know, man, you know, because I'm just not big. I like the attire and everything, but just for a ringside exclusive figure, like, ringside exclusives for me are, like, really unique things. They're bringing something new to the table. They're bringing something that maybe we would not get in the main elite line, something like a title or a character off base or something like that, a first time we're getting a character. This one is borderline garbage. I'm going to put it in barely acceptable just because I like how saturated the pink is. But we'll see about that. I'm not really big on that figure. I sold it like the day after I got it. It actually goes for a pretty penny, I think. But I don't know, man. Not not very big on that. Next up is Tyler Bate. Barely acceptable. Barely acceptable. I don't think this head sculpt looks anything like Tyler Bate. I don't like the skin tone. It's way too pale. It's way too small for his torso, to be honest with you. It's just, I know how small he is. But I think a ripped up torso would have been nice to see on him. I just am not a fan of that figure. It's really fun and poseable, which is why it's barely acceptable. But man, that, that figure could be a lot better next up is going to be the dx Shawn michaels now this one is a really good figure i like it i like the attire i really wish it would have had the wrestlemania 14 head sculpt um you guys know the wrestlemania uh, you guys know the wrestlemania 30 
figure with uh, that came the set that came with Bret Hart and HBK the little you know the the figures that always come out for WrestleMania they came out with HBK that head sculpt that came out from WrestleMania 14 that head sculpt's phenomenal if that had that head sculpt on it or a head sculpt similar it probably would be a go buy it I'm gonna put it in good figure for now um, I think ooh I don't know if I like it I think I'm gonna put Kane just above it but we'll see where that goes. Next up is Shane McMahon. Now, I like this one. I actually like this one. I love the King of the Ring moment. I love this matchup. I like the attire. Head sculpt's not the best, but I like the figure. I think it's I think it's a good figure. I like the moment and everything, so I'm going to go with good figure. It could go in mad, but I'm going to go good figure for now, and we'll see where that goes. Next up is ringside exclusive Finn Balor, and this is Go Buy It. Now, I will say straight up, why did we ever think this was a good head sculpt? Now, looking back on this head sculpt, I don't like it. I don't like this head sculpt one bit. I honestly think it's not good at all, but the rest of the body is nice. It was our first non-demon Elite Finn Balor, and getting that in a ringside exclusive, I remember being super pumped. The packaging was phenomenal. Um, I'm probably biased, but I still think this figure is worth the pickup. You can do really cool fix-ups with it. You can put the Elite 82 head sculpt on it. You can put the top talents on there. Really good stuff with this Finn Balor figure that you can do, and I have to put it in the go-buy-it section, guys. Which brings us to a next one, which is Chris Jericho. It's a go-buy-it again. I love this Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is one of my goats. Uh, I remember this moment like it was yesterday, so I, I, w I love this attire also. It's one of my favorite Jericho attires of all time. Um, the head sculpt's not the best. I love the ponytail, and I love everything about it. It's just the the face, is, the likeness is kind of all for me. I think if they had true effects technology back when this figure released, it would be phenomenal, but I really like this Chris Jericho. I actually like the Finn better than that, and I like the Jericho better than the Brian Kendrick. I actually like it better than the Walter as well. I'm going to put it like this. I'm borderline wanting to put Jericho there, but we're just going to leave this for now, and we'll move on. Next up is NWO Wolfpack Kevin Nash. This one's meh for me. But I can understand why people would want it. I'm not big on the articulation of the Kevin Nash figures. I think the accessories are cool, but it's just meh for me. It's better than the Edge for sure. It's just, you know, it's meh. It's, it's eh. Ah, I know there's the Wolfpack element to it, but I don't, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to put it in meh for now. I kind of want to put it in good figure, though. We'll, we'll see, but I'm going to leave it in meh. Next up is American-made Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I'm thinking of the damn Ultimate Edition, Brad. We have the American-made Hulk Hogan figure. I'm going to put this in meh. It's just, it's really cool. I actually like the figure. It's just meh to me. It doesn't get me out of bed in the morning. It doesn't get me excited for my pancake breakfast, Brad. I'm going to put it in the mess section. Uh, you know, this figure has actually grown on me. I had so many opportunities to buy this figure. And uh, on the Black Friday sale, I think, like three, four years ago before I even started the channel, multiple opportunities to buy it. I always said, nah, Brad, I don't need it. It's cheap. And now it goes for like triple, quadruple the price, which is outrageous. But yeah, American made Hulk Hogan, meh. Next up is Shawn Michaels, and I really like this one. This is a good figure. I actually like it better than the DX here, so I'm going to stick this one right here. Really nice attire. I love the red and the white, and it doesn't have the new arm articulation. It has the older arm articulation, which makes it better. I like the vest. I've owned this figure once, and I turned it into a Dolph Ziggler custom. So there you freaking go. It's a really nice figure, though. It's a really good one, so HBK is going right there. Next up is the Rated R Edge. This one is a go buy it. I love this attire. Head sculpt's not the best. But for the time being, guys, you got the rated R championship and everything like that. I mean, this is a damn good football figure, and I would highly recommend you go track this thing down. I like it better than Brian Kendrick. It's really nice, especially for the time. You got to put yourself in the boots of the time, too, and that really makes that figure stand out. Next up, guys, is going to be Rocky Maivia. Now, for me, this one is. Uh, this one's meh for me. It just, again, it just doesn't get me excited for it and everything like that. Uh, it did come with the purple Intercontinental Championship. It had the yellow ladder as well from his matchup with Triple H. And, you know, it's not bad at all. It's just meh. I felt like the torso was too big for this guy. You guys know they flip back and forth with the rock torsos. It's just not one of those figures that gets me excited. I'm going to put it here. I just, I don't know. It just, whatever. It, the, the packaging was cool and everything. I felt like the packaging on all these was pretty cool. But I don't know, man. I'm going to put it in meh for now and we'll see where it goes. Next up is the Here Comes the Pain Brock Lesnar. This is a go buy it. This one's phenomenal. I love this figure. I'm putting it all the way up here, Brad, at the number three spot. I love the packaging for this guy. It comes with a WWE Championship. It just is nostalgia feels for me. Uh, here comes the Pain Brock Lesnar. I think it's a perfect, like, ringside exclusive. Like, ringside exclusive just is supposed to get that nostalgia pop for you. It's supposed to have the epic packaging and just make you think of a time and a moment in a in a figure. That's just what I think of ringside exclusives. Just that hardcore just hits you right in the gut with the nostalgia. So I'm going to go right there with number three. That Brock Lesnar is a go-by. It's a beast. 
Pun intended. Next up is Hardcore Kane. This has to be a go buy it, right? This has to be a go buy it. It's so damn good. It's so damn good. It's so damn good. It's good, man. I mean, obviously, we don't like the body proportions. We think that he needs a new mask sculpt and everything. But for the Hardcore Championship, for the packaging, for that, that, that thing is a beast, man. It can go at the top. I really don't even know where to rank these guys as far as the top goes, but my god, that cane has to be in the top. Next up is Cactus Jack, and this is a good figure. I honestly would say go buy it, but we got the Elite 48 re-release, and we had the Hall of Fame for like a split second, so I honestly don't know where to put this. I'm going to put this like right here. It is better than the Shane McMahon. I think it is. It's a really nice figure. Uh, a lot of people that have this figure mock, I think it is pretty damn rare nowadays, so that is a nice figure. I'm going to put in good figure for now for the Cactus Jack. Next up, guys, is Stone Cold Steve Austin in the red gear um you know again this is very hard because at the time it came with the two championships i really like the in figure packaging of it you know the mock figure what it looks like mock you have the nice smiling head sculpt uh, i love the bionic redneck in the red and black very nostalgic for me i'm gonna put in good figure at the top i'm not gonna go go buy it just simply because it's just a vest really um, but it's still damn good. I really like it a lot. And Stone Cold is one of my all-time favorites. It's very nostalgic for me. I really want to put it and go buy it. Jesus Christ. Ah. But you really, ah, basically just be buying a vest, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm putting in good figure. I'm just going to sit on it. I'm putting in good figure, all right? That's it. Next up is the all-pink Bret Hart. Now, this one's damn good. And I'm not even the biggest Bret Hart fan, but this figure just looks phenomenal. I think it's one of the rarest uh, ringside exclusives out there. The attire is just beautiful. It's simply beautiful. Like, just look at the attire. The all pink. We need a new all pink Bret Hart. That figure is absolutely beautiful in every sense of the word. And I know it came with a rubber jacket, but if you put the Defining Moments jacket with that figure, just... Let me get up and leave. It's damn good and it's beautiful. I don't know if you can even track it down. I don't know if I'll ever even own the figure, but damn, bro. That pink singlet gets me out of bed in the morning. That'll make me excited for Pancake Breakfast, Brad. Next up, guys, is the ringside exclusive hardcore. Not the hardcore cane, but the 2002 version of cane. This is a really good figure. I would put it in the go buy it, but we are getting a re-release of it in the Decade of Domination Wave. So I am going to bring that into account, but it's really nice. It's one of those figures I always sought after. And uh, it's it's really damn nice. I love the attire and everything. It is nostalgic for me again. All these ring set exclusives are mostly nostalgia, but they, they, they hit you right in the sack. So, I mean, I got to put it a good figure. I'm going to put it at the top right there. Next up is SES Punk, and I got to put it in the go buy it section simply because I think people would cut my legs off if I didn't put it in the, in the go buy it section. Really, I'm not really big on the bald head sculpt. You know, I don't think it really looks like him. I think this was the first ring set exclusive. It had the shaved head. It came with the mask and everything. Thing. But the camo gear with the SES on it is pretty damn sick. The, the hairy chest, it's a damn good figure. I think if you put the long-haired head sculpt on it, very, very nice. It's better than that. Uh, I'd put it here. Actually, i put it above Edge. I'd put it above Walter. Uh, I think this is good rank right here. I, I mean, I might put it a little bit above Brett, but that pink singlet, man, that gets me excited for pancake breakfast. Next up is Flash Rey Mysterio. Now, this one is hard because it hits me in the nostalgia feels just like the go buy it section, but it, its legs are so god-awful and they're so hard to pose around. I don't know if I can honestly put it in the, in the go buy it section. It is really good up on the shelf, though. I gotta do it. It's just, it's just good, man. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from me? It's really good. It looks great. This is, these are ringside exclusives, man. It's really hard to not put them in the go buy it because they're so damn good usually. So ringside exclusive Rey Mysterio in the Flash gear is right there. Next up, guys, is Ultimate Warrior. This is a meh one for me. I, I'll put it at the top of meh for me. Uh, it, will this go? Jesus. I'm putting it at the top of meh. Ultimate Warrior figures, we get so many of them. It is a really nice gear, but I'm not excited for it. It doesn't move the it doesn't move the needle for me. For that reason, I'm gonna put it in meh. Not a bad figure whatsoever. I think the colors and saturation is nice, but for me, it's going in the meh section. Next up, guys, is gonna be Macho Man, and I almost want to put this in the garbage, but I'm gonna put it in the barely acceptable simply because it is, you know, it's Wolfpack NWO right there. I know it's gonna hit a lot of people, the nostalgia feels. I'm not very big on the head sculpt. I bought it just for custom purposes. And I'm just, I'm just not big on the figure. I think it could be a lot better. It could have been a different guy. It could have just been a much better exclusive. I'm going to put it in Barely Acceptable. I don't think it's in the garbage, but it's just not one of those that gets me excited. So I am going to put it in Barely Acceptable. Next up is going to be ECW Punk. This one's very nice. 
and I gotta put it in the go buy it section once again. I really love this figure. I think it is really damn good. Uh, I would put it above Brian. I'd put it above Ray. I'd put, nah, Ray's at the bottom, man. That Those legs are so stiffy, liffy. I hate it. Uh, I almost like the ECW Punk better than the SES Punk. I love that you got the, you know, the ECW Championship. You got the microphone. Back when I first got into WWE Elites, I got a massive CM Punk lot. Uh, with the ringside exclusive Brock, the ringside exclusive CM Punk, I got a bunch of other great figures in that lot with Undertakers and Paul Bearer, and uh, it was an epic lot that I bought when I first started my collection, and that was part of it, and I remember being so excited for that figure, and uh, that's just a memory I tag along with that figure, but there is that. Next up is Macho King. This is meh for me again. It's just, you know, it's just not one of those figures that I want to seek out, you know? It's just not one of those ones that I want to seek out. And for that reason, I'm going to put it in the barely acceptable for me. It's just, eh. It just, do, again, doesn't move the needle. Don't really care for the attire. Moment's not big for me. I'm going to put it there. I'll put it above Tyler Bate. But for that, there, there's that right there. NWO Wolfpack Sting. This is go buy it simply because it's up here for me because of nostalgia again. The nostalgia, man, you want to get my money. You want to you wanna hit me right in the sack. Get the nostalgia, man. You hit, you poke me in that in those spots right there, Brad. It's probably, got, you know, you bring a figure to life that takes me back to my childhood. I'm automatically going to be like, damn, this is good. But it's really nice. You can do some fix-ups on it. I've never owned this figure. It's one of the figures I've really wanted to own. I'm, like, Sting's one of my all-time favorites, especially from WCW. Probably my favorite from w WCW of all time. And I just, I, you gotta put it up there. It's it's really good. Next up are the Brood Hardys. Now, these are go buy it again. I mean, I it's the, it's the Hardy Boys, bro. I mean, what do you want? You can make your tag team Hardys out of these. You ain't gotta make them the Brood. You can do so many customs and fix-ups with them. Throwback Hardy Boys, you're gonna get my money. You're gonna get my money with Hardy Boys. It didn't matter what they look like. They're Hardys. They're ringside exclusive. They're go buy it. You can put them up in this section. It doesn't matter, man. They're go buy it. They're above Kendrick. They're probably above Sting. They're probably above Edge. They're probably above Walter. I'd even i put them there, man. I really, really... And you know what? Yeah, that's where they're going. They're that good. Next up, guys, is Scott Hall. Now, this one's a good figure. I like this one. I think it's nice. You gotta have your NWO. I think it's really nice. It fits perfectly into the collection here. It's not Wolfpack. I know we got Wolfpack later on. This is nice. This is classic. You love to see it. I like me a good NWO Scott Hall, and that's where it's gotta go. I don't even know what the hell. I just scare her. What are we what are we doing here? What are we doing? Next up, guys, is another NWO, and we got Macho Man. Now, this one's a good figure. I'm gonna put it middle of the road right here. Not too immaculate. It's actually really, really rare. It's one of those that's actually really, really sought after. So that one's gonna go right there. And then last but not least, guys, it is gonna be the ringside exclusive. Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt, and you probably think I'm going to put it in the garbage, and you'd be wrong, because I'm going to put it at barely acceptable. Uh, you know, the basic is definitely better. However, I just think that it, it should go there, man. I think this is the perfect spot for it, simply because you get the puppets, you get the nice Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt background, and I think that really sells the figure. You really don't need anything else with it. The basic is better, but you guys know it's really short and stumpy. The legs are not the accurate color. There's no sculpted sweater. There's no sculpted collar. It's just the literal, the only reason this isn't in the garbage is because of the puppets and because of the Firefly Funhouse background. I could not put it in the garbage simply because of that. So I think that does it for my ranking of every ringside exclusive. Again, you probably could mix and match here and there, but only one garbage ringside exclusive. You love to see that. Ringside exclusives, again, are usually really, really good for m most of the time, you know? Most of the time, you know, sometimes they suck, but it's rare that that happens. And I could be missing one. I feel like for some reason I'm missing one or two of them. I caught myself looking it up multiple, multiple times to make sure but, you know, it's anything is definitely possible. But that pretty much does it for my ranking of all of the ringside exclusive elites or the WWE elites, man. Before we get out of here, guys, I would love to know what your uh, favorite ranking is or what your ranking of these guys would be down in the comment section below. I also got to get into my random shout-out for the day. So for this shout-out, guys, it's going to go to WWE Figs, who says, Ah, yes, my favorite wrestler, Dij, referring to the, uh, the shirt on the Edge figure, the WrestleMania Elite figure that, you know, you guys know on his name tag, it says Dzz instead of Edge because it cuts off the E. Huge shout out to WWE Fix for that. That made me crack up a little bit right there, so I wanted to give a shout out to you, bro, so I appreciate that. Thank you guys so very much for watching the video. I would love to know what your ranking is of these figures. What do you think is the best ringside exclusive of all time? What are some ringside exclusives that you would like to see? That'd be a cool video to do. What's some ringside exclusives we could see in the future or what you'd like to see, but 
I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. MDT, who's your least favorite wrestler? Brad. Finn Balor. MDT.